All right, we have a ton of scales here, and I'm kind of just only talking about two today. I'll eventually get to all of them or some iterations. You guys can definitely tell me which ones uh, you want me to talk about. Here I have the Hiroya Jimmy, which I absolutely love. I think kind of this one's probably the better one out of a lot of these. I'll be making a video about this one. Then I have, this is what today's video is about, is the Time More Black Mirror Basic. Uh, versus the Basic Plus. I then have an Akaya Pearl, OG Akaya Pearl, and the Pearl 2021, which is not here. And then I have this MHW3 Bomber. This is a Chinese scale. It's probably a clone of something else, and I probably paid way too much for it. So I have this one, and then I have the Basic Plus, which is what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's kind of talk about the Time More Black Mirror. The Black Mirror to me was really the first scale that put Time More on the map, for me at least. So I'd never heard of this company before. I didn't even know they made grinders or anything like that. The reason why I heard about this was because I was in the market for a fancy scale. I wanted a scale that was a bit cheaper than this one. Uh, eventually I got this one off, of course, but this two years ago was about $70. So this was the Black Mirror. And the biggest appeal to me was the fact that it had USB charging and had a bunch of smart features. As we kind of found out, there were a lot of variations of the scale. Uh, people were telling me in my OG scale video, they were like, hey, if you press the tear button or timer button 13 times or something, you will activate auto timer. Uh, turns out my scale didn't even have that at all. This was the most basic one out of the bunch. And this was about $70. So I paid 70 bucks two-ish years ago. And over the past two years, Timer has definitely done a ton of iterations of this. There was the advanced version of this, then there's the Black Mirror Basic Plus here. And I think there's like two other versions of the scale. I actually bought this uh, all the way back in 1111. And I think I paid about 40 bucks for it, the Black Mirror Basic Plus. Now, the one thing that I do wanna note when we're talking about scales is everybody was like, hey, this is the Akaya Lunar Killer. Now, I actually, when I look back at it, I'm like, that's kind of weird because these two scales are completely different types of scales. This is definitely a pour over scale. It's so much larger. Really, you should compare this scale to the uh, Pearl. Even back then, and definitely today, uh, time more scales are a really great option on the market. And this is now, at least you don't need to pay 70 bucks for this anymore. You can get a Black Mirror for around 40 to 50 bucks. The kind of biggest complaint I've ever had about the Black Mirror is the numbers kind of skip. Uh, they're not incredibly granular like they are on, so here, I'll pull up the Hiroya Jimmy here. If I put something on the scale, I wanna be able to see 0.1 numbers go up. So if I'm say doing a very precise pour over or if I'm doing an espresso, I wanna be able to see that number actually go up by 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. For reference here is, uh, I, what's really cool with the Hiroya Jimmy is I can take the display off. So I took the display off. And if I press down on this, you'll kind of see the numbers just go up linearly. They're, they don't do any sort of skipping. And that's kind of the biggest issue that I've had with the Black Mirror. It's really annoying because you kind of need to anticipate or figure out how these numbers skip. So that was something that I hope that they fixed on the Black Mirror Basic Plus. That's a math hole. So opening it up, we see that there's foam, set that to the side, a uh, pad here, the heat resistant pad. This seems to be uh, equivalent to here, definitely very floppy, unlike the uh, Akaya one. The Akaya one's definitely uh, not as floppy as these. Doesn't really matter, but just keep that in mind. And then we have a manual and a certificate. Manual is definitely a bit longer this year. And there's an auto timer. So that is kind of the biggest difference from my understanding. And then here we are, here is uh, the scale. So that looks really cool. Let's uh, take it out here. I never really cared too much for having auto timing on any of these scales. What I kind of care about is uh, do the numbers skip. So here we go. And uh, looks like we have a bit of inserts here. Now, one thing that was uh, really interesting with the Black Mirror was the Black Mirror was a little bit sensitive. I think it's because the shell is kind of big. If you, it's like there's a little bit of flex here. So sometimes you just have the scale here, you step on the floor or something, you then get a reading. Uh, but let's see if that kind of got solved with this. You press it five times to turn on the auto timing. There are different now indicators that tell you if you have the auto timer on and off uh, compared to here. And I like that. It seems like this is in the exact same uh, form factor. Let's go ahead and tear that off. Let's kind of take a look at what's different between the two. There is, of course, a USB-C charging cable, uh, which is big props in my book. So here we are. Here is uh, what you get in the box with a Black Mirror Basic Plus. Three things. Very crazy. 
here. It's a, it's a coffee scale. Well, this is interesting here. Looking at the two, it is now much more defined uh, where the power and timer is, where the tear on off and the timer is on the Black Mirror Basic Plus compared to the Black Mirror. That's kind of the biggest thing here is like we're actually seeing that there's an indent here. Okay, so this is actually an engraved portion of the scale now compared to before where it was just completely flush. I think I've seen some people complain about that where people are like, they really, really like the fact that you can't see anything on here, but now you can see that. But I did have situations where if the scale was flipped, you wouldn't be able to tell which side is which. Or for example, say you had the uh, pad here flipped, uh, you would have no way of telling which side is which if you didn't look at the front here. And looking at the fronts here, they got rid of the Time More logo on the front here. They're a little bit different, but you can clearly tell which side is the front of the scale now, which side you should be reading it from. So that's a big plus. Logo colors are a bit different here. I think on the older one, if you did have the basic or the newer one that had auto tear, uh, you would have a different colored logo, but here it's just black. The physical sizes are the same. Uh, however, let's see if they weigh any different. OG Time More Black Mirror weight comes in at 366 grams. New Time More Black Mirror, Black Mirror Basic Plus comes in at 390 grams. So the new scale is a little bit heavier than the original scale. I mean, 30 grams, is that really a big deal? I don't know. That's just something that uh, you should keep in mind if you wanted to have the most compact setup or lightest setup. Uh, but both of them are the same exact size. The feet are a little bit different. And one thing to note is the chassis flex is, is a lot less. So here I definitely can feel the plastic flexing a bit. And I think that actually messes up your weight. This has basically no flex, which is awesome. Now, one thing to note is on the side here. The switch here is the power buttons. And I think some people don't like that. I've read where it's like, you know, I like the fact that on this one to turn it on, all I would have to do is I would just do that and it would turn on. It was just so cool to have the power button there. And as you can hear, the, the sounds are also a bit different, so. Way different sound. If I press and hold the tear button on the Black Mirror Basic Plus, you can put the scale to sleep and nothing will happen, even if the power switch is on. So I think you could have this in the standby mode if you wanted to use it as original, like this scale here, where you would just turn off and on the scale using the tear button. And there you go, now it's back on. Now to activate the automatic timer mode, you press the time button five times and now you see this A show up and there's a three, two, one countdown, or I think it just switches the mode. And then if you start applying some pressure on here, it will begin timing. Initially looking at this, when I put things down on the scale, the numbers seem to fluctuate a bit less. They, they do less jumping. So for example, if I put any of these tampers, there's a tamper video coming out soon, I see the numbers linearly increase. Whereas with the original Black Mirror, I just see the numbers kind of just go there. There's kind of like, a, they kind of just jump to the certain values. And let's kind of take a look at that when we pour some liquids in here as well to see how granular we can get. But there's already a clear difference in how the numbers read and it's much more comfortable reading these numbers where you can clearly see them increasing. Big plus so far. Now there isn't any auto tearing on these scales. I honestly don't really care too much for a lot of the automatic features. What I care about is the numbers. And the numbers on this look a lot better here. Now I'm just gonna kind of see if, how closely I can track the numbers. So now with this, I'm pouring fairly slow. I can see the numbers go up by 0.1 grams which is really what I want. And if I pour a bit faster, I can see the scale clearly keeps up with how much water I'm pouring. Whereas on the original Black Mirror, if I pour in here, if I pour slowly, I see the numbers kind of jump up by like increments of 0.3 to 0.5. And it's just much more difficult to use the scale as a pour over scale or even an espresso scale. Whereas with the Black Mirror Basic Plus, Looks like they've solved all of those problems that I had with this scale. This is literally a better scale than this. And it's much more rigid. It feels just a bit nicer to use. And these probably are both the same when it comes to waterproofing or weatherproofing. And it's just 
a bit better now and they've improved things and and I did think I was going to complain a bit about the fact that there's this on off switch here. You can press and hold the tear button to put the scale to sleep and you can turn it right back on. Uh, basically the exact same like the OG basic and that's what you really like. And of course, you know, USB-C, all that good stuff. And yeah, really, really cool stuff. They fixed the problem and uh, that's all I wanted to show off. That's it. It's a scale video, very straightforward. But thank you for spending the time to watch the video. If you have any questions, if you have any kind of suggestions with what you want to see with all these fancy pour over scales, uh, please go ahead and let me know. But yeah, Black Mirror Basic Plus, just a better version of the original Black Mirror Basic, which was already a pretty great scale. It just really wasn't as accurate as I wanted it to be. Definitely was nowhere near as good as something like the Jimmy or the Pearl. Uh, but now the Black Mirror Basic Plus has definitely solved some of the problems that this scale has had, and this is a really great value uh, for the money. But yeah, that's it. There you go. Scales. Very cool stuff. Anyway, thank you for spending the time to watch a video. I'll see you around.